welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my stream. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today, we're doing our final run of Final Fantasy X-2. Oh my gosh. And we might finish it this stream, you know. Um, uh, if, we're, if we're just doing a couple of things, um, we might actually finish it this stream. If not, then we'll finish it next Saturday. But uh, this game has been... This game has been a real joy to play with you guys. Longest Let's Play I've ever done. Um, I've learned so much about it. And um, we're going to give my thoughts at the end of this run, some closing thoughts on the game overall. But what we're going to be accomplishing in this last run is we're going to do the final accusation for Meehan Mystery. We're going to accuse Rin. We have not seen his scene yet, so we're going to do that. We are also going to do the perfect ending. So I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to do to get the perfect ending in this game. Um, and <laughs> I didn't know this when I originally decided we would do the perfect ending last. But apparently, once you do the... Uh, all of the monster capturing and you get that Shinra ending, uh, that one gets stuck in there and you can't actually see the perfect ending anymore. So if you wanna really see it for real in your game, don't do it the way I'm doing it. Instead, do it before you do the monsters. And, um, <laughs> uh, but we're, we're still gonna see it. We're gonna use some, um, some movie magic so that we can edit it in. <laughs> so that's how that's gonna happen. Um, so that's the two things, the two things that we are doing, the two things we're trying to accomplish for this particular run. Okay, without further ado, here we go. For the last time, New Game Plus, fifth playthrough, fifth playthrough of this game, and then we'll have to start a new one. Okay, yes, we're skipping. We're skipping, we're skipping. We don't need to see all of this nonsense. I wish it would keep the dress spheres that I had on at the end of the last run instead of putting them back to Thief and Warrior like this, you know. I do wish that, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to show her our moves. Hey, give it back already! <laughs> Boys! One in on I got a guava look boy today. I got a guava look boy. So yeah, Things you can keep up. I hope everybody is um, is having a lovely Easter. If you have plans that you're doing those plans, I am recording this on Easter. So uh, that means happy zombie day to you guys. And I am personally celebrating by celebrating the perfect ending with one of my favorite zombies, Titus. So yes, the perfect ending has to do with him. So that's how we're celebrating zombie day today. So I hope you all are doing something fun and festive for that. We are we are cooking too. I made some deviled eggs. This morning you have to have eggs on zombie day. And we're having a ham, I think, as well. Um, as some other things. So we're gonna have that. Fun we're gonna have good good spring dinner. I could have danced all night. I'm sure you could have pain. Can we skip? Yes. Yes we can. Oh, not now. We have to run. Let's go, Riku. Out of the way. So the first thing that you have to do to get the perfect ending in this game is have a 100% on the, the percentage that the game counts. Now, we already have that, and I'm going to show you exactly the things that you need to do in addition to having 100% to get the perfect ending. So basically what you'll see is that... Um, Getting the perfect ending on your second playthrough uh, is very easy because all you'll have to do is pick up the any percentage points that you missed, which if you're following a guide, you should be fairly close to 100%. And, uh, and then there's just really a couple of things that you have to do, a couple of events you need to see in that particular playthrough to trigger the perfect ending. So since we already have every percentage point possible in the game, this is going to be really easy for us. Really, really easy to get the perfect ending. We do, of course, still have to go through all of the required things. So we will be doing that as well, of course. Oh, hey, it's Yuna. Where's the Welcome imposter? back, Yuna. 
All right. We gotta beat up these bitches. This is for the fifth time. It is Logos. It is. The reason why I'm unsure if we'll finish this during this stream today is because I think it's going to take like a little over five hours. Um, I don't think I can do it in the in the four hours. So we'll probably have to do the the finale finale on um, Saturday. But it won't be yours for long. But we'll though. see. Maybe we'll just be really fast. Maybe everything will go super smooth and we'll speed through it. You can't cast lightning if I've got you. Or oh, you can only nuts. cast lightning if no. I've got you darkness. So I guess that's what you have to do. Thunder us. Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening. Not really. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple spell. Oh, I can't skip this. Get back here! Riku. All right, mission complete. Mission complete. My body just started dancing by itself. I didn't know what was going on. I was frightened. Then, while I was dancing, something happened. I've completed my Okay, so we need to set everybody up with their equipment. So everybody's gonna get some um, Iron Duke and Ribbon. Actually, I know what I wanna do. I want to give her a egg. And I think you should get Ribbon. Oh, hey, Lunar with the first. How are you doing, my friend? Okay, Iron Duke, and I think I'll give her the triple. Where is it? Did I skip it? Yes, keys to success. There you are. Oh, double all. Man, we have a couple of keys to success. I guess I can give her keys to success, too. And I can give... No, I, I really want Iron Duke on all of them. So I want to leave that be. All right. Um, we also need to look at our garment grid. But let's see which, uh, which dress spheres. Okay, so she's trying to work on Alchemist and Samurai. Um, does Riku... Did Riku learn everything? Oh no, Psychic. Riku's working on Psychic. And then Payne's working on Alchemist and Psychic. So Alchemist, Samurai, and Psychic. We can use our favorite, Valiant Luster, Alchemist, Psychic, okay, Samurai, and they're already on there. Okay, so I must, okay, because that's what I was working on before. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, Valiant Luster. And we need to do Alchemist. And Riku is going to do Valiant Luster and Psychic. And Payne's going to do Valiant Luster and Alchemist. And I think... I think that Yuna needs the most. Yeah, cause she's, she needs to work on Samurai. And... Yeah, she's at 555. She needs the least, like she's almost done. Riku's like almost done done. 
Um, yeah, and then Pain's there. Okay, but she has Psychic, which I think Psychic is faster than Samurai. So, okay, I think this is good. Koneko, hello, welcome. I'm doing well, just one kid, which I'm shocked on Easter Sunday. How the heck does that happen, Lunar? Only one kid on Easter? I think I was thinking, like, in my mind, I was like, I'm not gonna see Lunar today. I'm not gonna see Lunar because she's gonna be so busy with like 10 kids or something, you know? Um, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's like in my mind. Um, so I'm happy to see you here. I can't believe you only have one kid on Easter, the heck? I know. So we have to talk to everybody just like we've done before to be able to progress. Um, but that's it. We have to just watch these little scenes. I look up to her as a sphere hunter and also as a friend. I still And you can't skip these little scenes. She's not exactly the talkative type. I heard she joined the Gull Wings shortly before I did. Riku doesn't know much about We might double up, you know. We might give her the keys to success and the uh Nothing. AP egg at some point. I think I think they stack. Still analyzing. The AP egg does give you a bit more AP though. It's triple, whereas keys to success I think is Buddy double and AP. And it's double everything. It's like Buddy double AP, double experience. With us two double gill? When I told him I didn't remember, Maybe just the AP and experience. Yuna, has my talking gotten better? Yeah, brother. He really has improved quite a bit. He told me that he practiced, just so that he could talk with me more. Look at my new favorite dance emote. Is it a superhero kitty cat? It looks like a superhero kitty cat, Koneko. Is that what that is? Having fun? Let's see whose is that. Mouse over it. it violin. When I dance. saw this sphere of you. Okay, streamer called at least violin. It looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spears like it if I Yeah, that's definitely a superhero wings. kitty cat. So did. It's oh, Chirithi, which is basically a superhero kitty cat. Oh, good. <laughs> that is what it looks like. It's very well. cute. <laughs> and uh, I like how it's like stomping. It's like a stomp this. dance. He's like so into it. Like, we fly all over spirit. like it's like a serious really victory dance. Myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. Don't worry, Riku. You're not a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. Am I saying that right, Chirithi? Okay, one more person we have to talk to before we can proceed. Yes, okay, perfect. That's a cute kitty name, Chirthy. You know what, that would be a good bird name too. Cause it kind of sounds like Chirp. Mishuna, what can I do for you? Chirthy. Our bar keeps a Hypella. No one knows his real name. So everyone just calls him Barky. I don't think Hypellos well, have names. I think they just go by their airship. occupation. You know, like how we used to do surnames um, back in ye olde England. I come in, brother. I'm going to be there before you even finish your sentence. Whee! Treasure sphere waves. They're coming from. I know where they're coming from. Don't worry. I am on the case. Let's go. Sacred Mount Gagaset. Silent Guardian. When the faith disappeared. Revealing long. F <gasps> hey, the Turthy is from Kingdom floating. Hearts Union Cross. Don't tell me we gotta climb up that thing. Of course it is. No worries. I'll take you to <laughs> Why the top. is every kind of like interesting, slightly off weirdo thing from Kingdom Cro Ki from Kingdom Hearts, the now defunct mobile game, and Black Clover, a movie that ties in with the mo mobile game? Oh, back clo back cover. I read it as Black Clover, the anime. <laughs> back cover. Okay. Back cover. You know. What's your status? Disaster oh, I can skip this. I can skip Drasasterific. I forgot. Okay, time for a jumping tutorial. Oh my gosh, this is the last time we're gonna see this, you guys. It's like, um, it feels different. It feels different knowing this is the last time that we're gonna hop hop around Mount Gagazette. 
I think it's because Nomura is really good at creature design. Oh, that's true. Nomura is amazing at creature design. It is definitely a special talent. Over the years, oh, like, like early way. in his career and currently in his career, That's his creature design is still like A++. Like that is not something that's like, the quality is fluctuated. Just. Think this machinist? Let's try it out. Start the elevator. Whoa! I wonder how safe this is. This is Tower Terror. Terror Tower. Ah! Boom. It's I love the Tower of Terror. That's a great ride. Hop your happy asses up there. It's time to start the mission. Oh. Who's there? It's LeBlanc. <laughs> we love her. Laugh what you can. Don't worry, I'm not laughing. Them again. Look at that one shot. That's the Iron Duke. Okay, and now we race. And this is the thanks I get for the race that's hard to lose. Hey! Hey! Who does she think she is? She's she thinks she's LeBlanc. She crazy. <coughs> But well, that's why we love her. Because here, we not only support women's rights, we also support women's wrongs. And LeBlanc has many of them. That's why she's the best. Whee! I can hear the boys cooking up in there for E-Star. We're gonna have some good zombie dishes. Yeah, no more oversouls. We did that. We did that for every tang. Get up there. You look a tad flat. Got him. Why does it take Logos and Ormi and LeBlanc so long to run up this little area? Like, what are they doing? They are somehow always ahead of us, but so incredibly slow. Like, over five minutes to run up this thing. There's no way. There's no way it takes so long. Even if you're just walking, it would take shorter. Even if you're exploring Sorry, everything and walking, boss. it would take shorter. abilities is Riku working on? I don't remember. Oh, it's literally just the last one. Oh, and then she's done. Oh, that's right. I did know that. Okay, so she's literally almost done.
Pain, your gun is so big. Hey, Ormy. Let's show the ladies. Don't worry, we got this. Right behind you. Ayla Blanc and crew. How do they ever get up from that? Do what? they just fall? Would you, would you do they just staring? fall? Do their goons just come catch them? How did they get up here in the first place without an airship? Because they followed us, but we just flew. Oh, this game. Nothing too serious. Until the end. Oh my gosh, it's Boris. Hey friend, how you been? I guess this is goodbye, Boris. We won't be able to hang out again. Sorry. It's gonna be time to move on. I don't think I can skip this one at all. It's obvious to the trained eye that spear's just a dud. It's not a dud. Perfect for the dull wings. It's a black mage dress sphere. <laughs> you win again. Well, I guess we'll be taking this. Nope, he's not with us. You have to go find him now. I jump on you. <laughs> he like flinches when you step on him, but he's so committed to the bit. Analysis complete. Wanna watch the sphere? Do we have to? Think it's worth anything? It's not very exciting. Junk. But we can use it as a dress sphere. Told you, Black Mage dress sphere. Woo! Incoming data. Go wings to your stations. Hey, how long you plan on lying there? Forever. What is it? The treasure sphere data you've been done. There's a at least one. Okay, so everything we've done so far is just required to beat the game. So next we are going to do something that we need to do for accusing Rin of the Mihen uh, mystery. So we're gonna get over to Mihen High Road and there is somebody that we need to talk to here. Okay, so we are going to have to run down the Meehan High Road. There's somebody towards the end that we need to talk to, and that is critical for doing Rin's accusation. So we'll get some levels, we'll get some AP, we'll, um, we'll chill, run down the Meehan High Road. It's going to be super fun.
It's gonna be have a good time. Hopefully we will get um maybe Riku's skill? Like she doesn't have that much farther to go. Let's see if we get enough battles to get her finished up. But it's on the screen right before the travel agency. So we just need to make it there. And since in this chapter, when you come to Meehan High Road, you land at this end, you have to run all the way down. This is you could also, of course, land on Mushroom Rock Road and run back. That works too. But I think it's a bit quicker here. And then going to the travel agency and then going back up to the airship from there. Since it's zombie day and I've got zombies on the brain. Um, brains. I was thinking about that movie, Warm Bodies. Um, if you guys haven't seen that, it's actually really good. It's a zombie romance movie, which you would not think those two things go together, but um, in Warm Bodies, they do. They do, and it's actually very nice and touching and uh, in a really cute little movie. If you like romance and supernatural things, I would definitely recommend it. Okay, not... Yeah, it is. It's this screen. It's at the end of this screen. This is who we need to talk to. I'm on a roll! Phew! Phew! Is it in here? Yes, okay. In this alcove right here, you gotta talk to this lady. Oh, um, uh, hello, what are you doing over here? Uh, we're experimenting to see if we can synchronize the High Road's Machina. Don't tell anyone you've seen this. Okay, so you have to talk to her. And then we're just gonna head over to the travel agency and go back up. This is your lucky day. As far as the perfect ending goes, there are no events in chapter one that you have to do to trigger the perfect ending, okay? Thank you. So oh, yeah. if you're just going for perfect ending for chapter one, you just have to play through the required stuff after you've got in your 100%. So that's the only extra event we're doing in chapter one. Now we're just gonna go beat it up. Poor Yuna falling behind because she has the AP egg instead of keys to success. But she should be progressing a lot faster in finishing Alchemist, which we need for her to do. So one takes forever. Just gotta have a 999 in there. It and Mascot. I guess the game knows that those are like two of the most powerful dress spheres, so it's gonna give you like ridiculous um, amount to be able to get those finished. All right, here we go. We can just beam up to the airship now. All right, let's next head over to Xanarkand and, uh, and do that required mission. This is where we sat. Oh yeah, we can't night. skip. The seven of us. I've never talked about it. I wanted to keep that feel. Sorry, Yuna. Times no, change, things change. 
You have to move on. You can't gatekeep Xanderkin from the rest of Spirit just because it's uncomfortable that it's a tourist trap. A tourist? Whose idea was that? <sighs> That's what capitalism does to all historic sites. Turns them into tourist areas. All right. What's up, Isaru? Yuna? How's it going? You've changed so much. Remember. It's good to see you again, Isaru. I'm honored. Ah, uh, I no. thought I could skip after I gave the prompt, but I guess ah, not. Yes. I've been helping Sid with his work. Don't look at me. I guide people through Xanar. People come from all over. Uh, ah. He's thinking he's trying to I make money. See. That's what he's thinking. But this is a place. I know. I. You not? Nothing. If you say. Ah. Uh, I'm. Alright, so once we talk to Isaru, we can proceed. What are those goons doing here? Taro, Hana, you ready? Um, what was the clue again? Come on! It's key! It's key! All right, let's head out! Yes, yes sir! Which way? That way! Yes! See how close she is. Okay, 672. Okay, Riku's very close to being done. 632. Okay, so yeah, Yuna is progressing quite a bit faster through that skill because the triple AP versus the double AP. We'll have to see if it stacks whenever Riku's done. We'll put her um keys to success on Yuna and see if you can stack the keys to success in the AP egg. I'm pretty sure you can. Pretty sure you can. <gasps> Late. Do you remember? Your passe. You. You remembered me. This is Hana, and this is Taro. Nice to meet you, Lady Yuna. What are you doing here? There are fiends around. He knows about fiends. He went on a whole pilgrimage, okay? And they got pretty far uh -huh. before they That's stopped. Right. Where's fear, I think they would have kept going if it wasn't for Yuna finishing hers. The kindergartens! You here on some kind of treasure hunt? I'm gonna turn the game down just so a little. I feel like during these cutscenes, these unskippable cutscenes is a little bit loud. Not by much, uh -huh. but just That's a little right. bit. I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Shh. We paid 15 whole gil for that. Come on, let's go! There. I think that's good. Kindergartians! Move out! See ya, Lady Yuna! There's that goon again in the background. Clue. Come in, come in. Kimon. Oh, hey, I wanted. Nah, it's just that I. <laughs> the clues are. What? The gull wings? Kimon? Monkey. Monkey! We won't let you off so. <laughs> Don't worry, I kick your booty. Wow, he's got three gun snakes with him. Don't 
that wasn't much fun. Effortless. Yep, we're the gull wings. He doesn't like either answer, unfortunately. So it doesn't matter what you say to him. He's still gonna be annoyed with you. Yeah, Riku learned excellence, okay. I think once they finish learning all of their skills with all of the different dress spheres, I put, I'm gonna put them on Thief. All right, so Riku is done. She can be Thief. I feel like Thief and Berserker are so good, you know what I mean? Okay, so then let's swap out. She doesn't need this anymore. So let's put on a ribbon. And I'm gonna give Yuna her keys to success. I just, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this doesn't make Yuna too weak. <laughs> Cause that Iron Duke is so helpful. Um, but, uh, but maybe it's okay if it's just one of them. And hopefully they stack. That wasn't much fun. Speak for yourself, Pain. We beat him up. All right. Now we just got to walk past all these tourists over to Isaru. I brought a straw in here and I didn't even put it in my soda. There, fix that. Welcome! Hello! Come to buy a clue? No. We don't need no clues. We got it for free. So, what's he? Well, it's. Huh? Oh, it's. Huh? I see your. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. But if they could easily find the ruins, then it would be a tourist destination. It's probably hard to find them though in the sands. I don't know about a theme park, but you know. Ago. I don't think we can skip any of these. Our false hope. Okay, I have a good chat question. I'm gonna put it in the chat and I'm gonna pin it so people can answer today when they come in. You have done well to make it this far, Sphere Hunters. But you will not have the treasure you seek so easily. There we go. For Zombie Day, what is your so favorite zombie it. movie? We're going to pin this. If what? You want the it treasure, says something you went wrong. Speak the Please try again. Why can I not pin? Password. Can I not the pin clues? my own messages? Oh, I know. The password is monkey. Rude. Uh, uh, yes, good. Do I have to do it via uh, okay, the Twitch so interface? Me, what is the meaning of life? Oh my gosh, Isaru. What? It's uh, to bring the calm. That's the only calm. thing we've not answered. So we're going to try that. Maybe I can do it through Wrong. the app. Wrong. Although the app's usually broken. Wait a minute. This voice sounds familiar. Is that Isaru? Could be. Could be. Um, what are you doing? 
My job. I bring excitement to those who've come to see this sacred place. I too once traveled with the hope of seeing oh my this gosh, place someday. Double sound. Quiet phone. Working here somehow fulfills that wish. I see. Okay, thanks for coming. Yeah, I can't do it through the app. And remember, the ruins of Xanarkand will be waiting. Whatever you say, sorry, whatever you say. Ex summoners come in all flavors. They sure do. <laughs> Apparently so. We done here. Mm. The sphere Oscillo finder picked up a signal. There should still be a sphere nearby. Oh. Right. Yeah, I can't do it. It's okay, bugging let's out. Let's try this again. Gosh, Twitch. I thought that was a cute idea. You just ruined it. Okay. Time to go beat the little boss of this area. On Oni Link, hello! Welcome in! I think this is your first time here, huh? It's going great! It's going great, how are you? Glad to be here? Oh, I'm so glad! Um, you're here for what's probably the finale stream of this game. We're doing a true 100% run, and this is our last New Game Plus that we're doing. You're not getting away! Have a good dinner, Koneko. I hope it's delicious. Yeah, poor Yuna's damage is so low now that I took the um took the Iron Duke off of her. Pain and Riku gonna have to carry, but that's okay. I obliterated my sleep schedule and woke up at 7 p.m. Holy crap! <laughs> I think I would die. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. I need my sleep schedule. It's very important. If I messed up my sleep schedule that bad, I think I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be stream I wouldn't stream. I think I wouldn't. Uh, Same to be honest. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, do you have some coffee? Do you have some coffee at least or something like that so you can try to survive? I think we need a password. How about kick its ass? I need to fix things now. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, that's this good. Is Only, how did you find me? By the way, do you like, is it this game you like 10 to? <laughs> Defeated. I've never played this one fully, just the first one. Oh my gosh, 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy. I love it so much. Sorry, we I love it so it. much. Um, but I've been converted to this game here. I think it's a good game now. I didn't used to think that when it first came out, but I was wrong. I was wrong and immature. This is a great game. What? It's only half a sphere. It's in my book to beat, though. My favorite is 7. All that That's okay, though. 7 nothing. was my favorite until 10 existed. Well, I mean... If it's good, us? it's good. You know what I'm saying? I need to go back and replay seven as an adult, though, for real. That's on that's on my list to stream is seven. So at some point we'll get to that one. Seven is a masterpiece. It's true. That game is so good. The story is amazing. Yeah. All right, so that's Xanarkin. We're going to go to Besaid next, because like I said, we're just doing the required stuff. That's the only other Chapter 1 stuff we're going to do. So we're going to head over to Besaid. I'm playing through Rebirth right now, so good. I, I think I'm going to play the remake when all three are out. I feel strange about them being broken up, you know what I mean? It kind of feels like how, how when they do um, like book adaptations, I've said this before, when they do turn. like book adaptations in, into movies, they adapt the book into the movie and they split it into two movies, like... It was never intended to be three different games, you know? So, like, it makes me uncomfortable. But um, but I do want to play it at some point. So probably when they're all three out, I will play them all. Welcome back. So that it's all one Hi, thing little. to me. So, tell us about the baby. Yep, this is our last time coming and seeing pregnant Lulu that doesn't look pregnant at all. She's supposed to be like seven, eight months along, flattest tummy ever. Like Where is the baby? We do not know. Off. Hiding in the belts, I guess. 
It's a good plan. I just can't resist. Yeah. I mean, it's the hotness right now, so I totally get it. Everyone's doing it, so, like, you want to play it. And Have it's there, done? and it's, like, new, and, you know. Since you've come all this way. And it's also, like, years in between the games. Like, that, the first one, the remake version came out. Oh, look at this. Look at this graphical air. Her ponytail. Oh, my gosh. I love the HD remaster, but also, sometimes, sometimes we get this. Okay, yes, let's stay. But I wanna, I wanna stream OG7 before the third one comes out. So that like, I'm ready when that third one comes out to just play all the remake. So I'll probably, I'll probably do that at some point. Ponytail's still there. Her model hasn't reloaded yet. Lulu, when does your model reload? As an adult, I appreciate the story so much more. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, like, you catch the vibes, but, like, you don't know, you know. Um, we're on the case. I was 12 when I first played it. I don't, I don't, I have no idea how old I was. I have no idea how old. <laughs> I just know it was whenever the PS2 first came out. Because when the PS2 first came out, and it was backwards compatible and everything, right? We got a PS2 um, at my house. And um, basically, we got a bunch of PS1 games. So we got the PS2 and a bunch of PS1 games. So whenever that was, that was when I played it for the first time. And just thought it was like the most amazing thing ever. Like, I'd never really experienced a game like that in 3D, so I just, I had no idea. I played it in, like, 2002, 20, uh, 2003. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I mean, the PlayStation back then was the console to have, right? It's true. Like, the PlayStation was cool, so when the PS2 came out, we had to have it. Like, begged our parents to have it. So that's what we did. That's when, Whenever that was, that's when I played it. Yeah, the PlayStation was definitely the console for the cool kids. N64, though. N64 had some bangers, though. I don't know, man. I just... I love that era of games. I don't know... I, I, like, a part, a part of me wants to say, like, oh, it's nostalgia, but also, like, games were just really good then, <laughs> in a way that they're not now, you know? So I love, I love, like, that, the retro, early 2000s, um, 90s, you know, era of video games. Personally, before GameCube, but Final Fantasy was an exception. Hey, but GameCube had Crystal Chronicles, which was really fun. N64 is amazing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things were just, things were different then. The here. goals of games were different. And I think um, huh. because you couldn't, like, you couldn't day one patch, there was no such thing it's as a day one patch, and you got, like, complete packages, like, that made things um, better. This is the era when games became what they are now, yeah. They're breaking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just, it was, everything was so exciting and new. And now, like, there's not, the innovation isn't there in the same way. Like, the technology, like, how much better could graphics get? Like, they can't. They've already reached, like, potential photorealism if you wanted. So, like, there's really no improvement. Okay, we got all of our numbers, so now we have to go into the cave. And hang out with Waka for a bit. All right, bye. Let me in, let me in. What's up, Walker? Something wrong. We can't. Something wrong with you. I hope they do make a 10 3 one day. I know that the, the basically the story is, uh, 
has been ridden, but they're focused on other things right now. But I want to go back to Spira. I want to go back to Spira someday, and it'd be like fresh and new. I would love that. And it wouldn't matter if the game was kind of bad. It would just be like, oh, I get to go back to Spira. Oh, yeah. I just love this world so much. I feel like Seven, Seven has gotten so much love. Like, there's so much spin-offs and extra content and all that stuff for Seven. But Ten is amazing, and there's only, like, a little bit of extra content for Ten in comparison. I feel like they need to focus more on Spira. Yeah, it's true. Seven, seven's, seven's got plenty. Seven's got plenty. Second favorite Final Fantasy. Yeah, I feel like there's Find there's a such a the link in the themes between seven and ten. You know, regardless of like the same world theory or whatever, there's just such a link between the themes that even without that, if you like seven, you'll like ten and vice versa. Like they're they're so similar in that way. That it's I've never heard of someone liking one and disliking the other. One more for the goings. Disappearing skirt, yes. All right, gotta go back to Waka. What's up, Waka? We got the sphere. Is this what you're looking for? Anything? I mean, we found something. So... We can't skip. I'm gonna be a father. That's huh. Pretty sure I can skip this scene. I guess just not just right away. Well. Sure wish. Go ahead. Read me? You guys about finished down there? Yeah, we'll be back soon. Yeah! Oh, it's because it's the last scene. Mission complete! Oh, we can skip. Okay. All right. Time to finish up chapter one. So yeah, as far as perfect ending, nothing else to do for accusing Rin. It's just is? talking to that one girl at Meehan High Road. That's all you have to do. Otherwise, you just beat the chapter. Oh, these kids. I would also spend my days just hopping off and up and down like that, like those kids do if I was their age living in Kilika. That would be so much fun. Just jumping all the time. Proceeding into Kilika. I think I can just walk this way. I don't think I think I only have to check the other gates on the uh when we come here in the other chapter. I don't think you have to do that in chapter one. Right. 
Yeah, Yuna can't one-shot them without her freaking Iron Duke. They should let me put on more than two accessories. All right, go around the back. Money Link, if you're still hanging out, what is your favorite zombie movie since it's zombie day? Just a little peek. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do the more more. Oops. Yeah, carved craven, I know. Yeah, favorite zombie movie. Okay, the end. Now we can proceed. Silent Hill 1. Oh, that's a good one. Do you like horror games? Um, it was um, a pretty decent adaptation, yeah. I actually like a lot of the Resident Evil movies. I don't know if I would call them decent adaptations, but as movies, I like them. Not a huge fan, but Resident Evil and Silent Hill are my faves. I feel like that's, um, that's true for a lot of people. Was it carved? Nope. I wasn't paying attention. I could have just counted. Whatever, we'll just beat him up. Probably better that we get more battles in anyway. That wasn't much fun. I guess we can yeah, we can fight them all. Eh -eh. Let's do it. And we get some more AP in. I may gripe with horror games that they're mostly first person. Yeah. Um, I have that trouble too. Uh, the reason I cannot play first most first person games is because I have pretty serious simulation sickness. And um, so uh, first person games are very likely to trigger it. And so I really cannot play most first person games. Yeah, yeah. It's, this did not used to be the case. It's something that happened to me in the past decade or so. Like, as a kid, I did not have this. Um, but I always had, like, a little bit of astigmatism, and I've heard they're connected. So, um, since I've gotten older and the astigmatism's gotten worse, uh, the simulation sickness has gotten worse. And, like, I really cannot play any first-person games at all. Like, if it doesn't have a third-person mode, then, um, then I might as well, like, not even attempt. <laughs> and I've had a couple of um, third-person games even trigger it as well. Like, uh, I really loved the game, but I had a lot of trouble getting through Stray, that kitty cat game. Because um, it has a couple of spots that really seriously triggered my simulation sickness. Another surprising game that triggered my simulation sickness is if I played uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay, the new, the newest Pokemon on a large screen. I could only play it on my little Switch screen. If I played it on the little screen, it was all okay. The big screen like got triggered. Not bad at all. Yeah, it's crazy. Just what do you think you're doing? I think that's also part of why I love Actually, like the retro hunters. games too. The more retro games because like they don't i don't have problems with the older games doing this you know so I haven't played pokemon in ages are they good games still some of them some of them are um they don't it, they push them out too fast nowadays so the last mainline one it was the worst Pokemon game I've ever played, but also I had some of the most fun with it because you could see the Pokemon in the real world just like you can in Ar Ar Legends Arceus. Um, Legends Arceus is probably my favorite recent Pokemon game, and I'm really excited that another Legends game is coming out. 
the Tough ZA, one. Legend ZA or whatever. I'm excited for that. It's going to be so good if it's anything like Legends Arceus, which was amazing. Okay, we don't need any of these trap pods. Yes, we're going to save. Okay, chapter one is complete, you guys. Chapter one is complete. Time to go to chapter two. Yeah. Yeah, Legends Arceus is the my favorite recent Pokemon game. Alright, so chapter two. We've got a couple of um, required scenes we have to do first. So, okay, we gotta talk to Shinra. How'd the sphere analysis go? I think he's gonna make hmm. us watch the it's sphere, just a but I don't remember. Sphere. It doesn't appear to have any special functions. Yeah, and we can't skip. You wanna take a look? I don't really, um, but I think I have to. Luckily, we can skip. Is Vecnagun? Any ideas? Not a one. But as Machina go, it looks extremely dangerous. Uni, is it you? Doesn't even look that much like him, especially in the HD remakes. Not that it looked exactly like him in the originals either. All right, now. What's that sound? For this uh, mini game. Just some What's up, my dudes? to push. We're not going to bother pushing Tobley this time. I've already done that once for you guys. I showed you the trick. We're not going to do it again. So if you have Tobley here and you don't want to push him, you can just push the three main ones and, uh, and you'll be good to go to get past this. And you can talk to the barkeep, the Hypello right there, to, uh, to reset the game. Ready to go. On with the show. Riku, you're not in costume. That's your thief outfit. You should be in your songstress outfit. Welcome back, Koneko. Was your dinner delicious? We had ham for dinner. We're having ham for dinner, too. We usually have ham on uh, zombie day. Koneko. Uh, do you have a favorite zombie movie for Zombie Day? <sighs> Can I not? Yeah, I can't skip this, the dream. I can't skip the dream. This is so sad. Her and Lynn's memories mixing together. It's like, makes it really creepy. I kind of hate zombie movies. <laughs> They're all very uninteresting romance movies in a setting that just so happens to have zombies are very gore focused. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Have you ever seen Warm Bodies? 
Um, that was one I was talking about earlier that I think you might actually, um, you might actually be a little bit more interested in because it's kind of unique. But it is a, it is like a romance. But the, but the subject of one of a part of the romance is literally a zombie. No one ever gets creative with their zombies, and when they do, it's gore and body horror. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like some, in some ways, like the original zombie movies are the best. Like um, Night of the Living Dead and stuff. You know, the OGs. The first season of Walking Dead is really good. But um, but I kind of stopped watching in the second season when they went to the farmhouse and they just stayed at the farmhouse forever. I got really bored. I stopped watching it. But the first season, loved it. And I even met some of those guys, like the cast and stuff at Dragon Con. They were, um, they were filming season two and they came over to Dragon Con and, uh, and did like a panel and stuff. We got to meet some of them. They were cool. It was fun. Okay, so we have to give the awesome spear to either New Yevon or the Youth What's League. Up? So Returns. we are going to decide that. Here is all well. Muerto. I've decided. But the Youth League is reckless. We're going to give it to the Youth League. I like watching people play Stubbs the Zombie. Oh, because that game's kind of hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Playing as the zombie better than fighting the zombies. I agree. I agree. That's why I find like out of um, newer zombie movies, Warm Bodies so good. Because it's like from the perspective of the zombie. Did you? In a lot of ways. Who's on top now, Dull Wings? Not you, because I'm about to steal all your uniforms. It'll be a thousand years before you can take on the mighty LeBlanc. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look into it. It sounds better than the rest, but the bar is practically underground, so I'm not getting my hopes too high. Yeah. <laughs> she got it. I mean, it's kind of one of those things where that, that genre is very well defined. So if the genre is not for you, it's not for you, you know? I feel like some, some genres have um, stronger walls around them than others, you know what I mean? Okay, so that's all like the required like intro scenes that you gotta do for chapter two. So there is one thing in chapter two that we need to do for accusing Rin. So we are gonna go do that. And that is going to um, Meehan High Road, and we need to successfully do the Cuckoo for Chocobo's mission. So we're gonna do that. I'm sorry, but you won't be able to go. I see. Sorry to bother you. Callie, I'm coming. I'm gonna help you. I am. I don't suppose you remember. You can't be. Yep, it's Callie. Mission time. Okay, so we have to catch a Chiboka bow. It went this way. Riku, you are so useless. Alright, let's run. Maybe we'll get lucky and and, uh, and catch the chocobo immediately this time. I just want to see something creative with zombies, yeah. You know what series got really creative? Um, Black there? Butler. Yes! Oh my god. <gasps> Blast from the past 
blast from the past freaking black butler that stupid demon butler in victorian england manga yeah <laughs> there's an arc where basically zombies take over a cruise ship and it's really absurd if i hadn't lost interest in the series right as that art came i probably would have loved it yeah oh my god i need to do a reread of black butler it's still being published isn't it like it never it's not ended it's like still they still release new um content for it right the author like I don't I don't remember her ever ending the series. But man, all the emo emo weebs, all the emo weebs on back in the day. We loved Black Butler. It was the best. Riku, you told me wrong like six times before you I saw it just fired. now. No I've got this. And that leaves me. Okay, Yuna, don't fail me now. Do right. If we get lucky, we'll catch it and we'll be able to go immediately to beating up the chocobo eater. Dang it. I think technically the primary story ended with the Undertaker reveal and after the zombie arc, I don't think it officially ended. Yeah, I don't think it officially ended either. Ugh. I keep thinking he's gonna go straight and then he veers right. Okay, we're gonna go right this time. He is leaning slightly right, there we go. Now he looks straight. Let's see. Nope. It was left. He's definitely straight this time. But he's got to the lost concentration phase, so we are going to have to do the second phase. My favorite part of the circus arc, that arc was so good. I, it's like I really need to reread it so like I can remember better. But it was seriously, it was like the thing, you know, when I was in like high school age. And I guess a little bit in college too. Is that right? Nope, that's straight. Okay, that's right. Yep, we're gonna have to do the second part. Maybe it's just me. Come back. Oh, where to go this time? He's way back at the beginning. You gotta keep going, Riku. Aha! Look! Let's hurt! Huh? It's for such scrawny. That was a very metallic fall, Riku. But don't worry, it's not your fault. It's Rin's. Chobokobo! Chobokobo! There is a better way. It's called using technology. We're going to use technology to outsmart the bird. Mm -hmm. 
We did it. Now it's time to beat up the Chocobo Eater. Uni, come on! And you want to be successful this time. You only want to fail it if you're doing Cali. Hey, now I'm thinking a lot about Black Butler. I really need to reread that. It's one of those things that, like, the vibe stuck in my mind real good, but, like, the specifics of any of the plot totally did not. I bet it's one of those things that if I reread it as an adult, it's going to be, like, a totally different situation. Geekstra, hello! How's it going, friend? Are you having um, a lovely zombie day? Happy Easter, happy Easter. I should probably read it sometime too, it was a fun series, yeah. Geekstra, are you celebrating zombie day today? <laughs> it's Easter. That's what it is. We made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we made deviled eggs and we're having a ham for dinner. Here. I'm celebrating with some delicious Panda Express. Oh my god. Sugar chicken, my favorite. We don't have a Panda Express close to us. I've only eaten it a couple of times. But it's very sweet, right? It's very sweet Chinese. I was gonna skip this scene, but I think I'm not supposed to. She looks happy. Whatever worked. Shall we? No, I'm thinking of the other mission. I'm thinking of the other mission. It would have been okay to skip this scene. Okay. So, after you beat the Cuckoo for Chocobo's mission, we have to go back to Meehan High Road, and there's like one little, the cup, it's just like a couple of frames. It's just a couple of frames that we have to see. So we're gonna go back, Meehan High Road. It's gonna drop us off at the travel agency this time. And we're gonna walk into the travel agency. You're gonna see Rin come out. It's like just a couple, there he goes, okay? That's all you wanna see. See him walk by and, uh, and walk out of the building. Okay. Now in chapter two, just like chapter one, there's nothing that we're doing for securing the perfect ending. It's just that one thing that we just did just now for doing Rin's accusation. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed with um, everything else that we have to do in this chapter. First, by going to Jose and getting our letter of introduction so that we can go over to Beaconel. Hey lady, I want to I want to get in line. Okay. Time to stand in the queue, you guys. Now we wait. Yuna so good at queuing. Oh, that's standing way too close to him. There we go. You don't want to get too close to the person you're behind in the queue. That's, like, really weird. Weirdo behavior. Have a good personal space bubble in the queue. Wait, wait, that's how we social distance and, uh, and don't be weirdos. 
I want to dig. I was going to say hi to Giffle. You're a celebrity yourself, you sure you wanted... You're the leader of a main faction, so. All right. You're hired. <clears throat> All right, so we got our letter of introduction. Um, now we're going to go right out here and uh, beat one of the three missions we need to beat. Hey, 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 I need your uniform. Girl. Hello. I need this. Mm. Well, that's weird. We gotta find that sphere. Why don't you stop? Hey, let's find it. Someone's turning unit. <laughs> Mission time! to run the other way. Right, our spear is like right along here somewhere. You're going down! Grab That's it. the spirit. Oh, she got it that time. She did one-shot something. There it is. So that... Oh, we can't That's skip. Where it was. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. Because these things are spheres, like, they probably, what? like, roll away and get lost all the time. Done. So, like, people probably lose their the spheres constantly. They probably also have, like, special sphere cases that they keep them in, the because otherwise you would just never stop losing them. So then we take it back. Huh? And on that... You guys deserve a medal. See how the girls' like sash colors are pink, purple, and orange, like when the the ones that we caught. And it looks like Yuna just learned learned elixir, so that's awesome. Okay, I think those things do stack. Then we're just gonna we're gonna check after this battle how many AP how much AP she has. I think that the keys to success and the um, uh, AP egg did stack. Mission complete. We got ourselves a uniform. Okay, so then we're gonna go to. Yeah, I just wanna check. Yeah, so she's finished it, so we need to equip her with samurai. Yeah, see, it says double and triple AP, so, like, I think they stack. Um, okay, how far is Pain on her alchemist? Yeah, she's way more behind. What if we equip two keys to success? Do we get double all twice? We do not. So there's no point in doing that. So we only have the one AP egg. Okay. So next uniform is in Beaconel. We have to go dig, dig, dig.
I'm busy, so make it fast. Okay. Uni. Oh, I thought huh? we could skip after that. that. Nope. Nice to. Hmm. I guess the high summoner's hard up too. I'm just trying to get a uniform, and I know there's well, one here. Don't be expecting any. I'm not gonna treatment. do any digging. Right. I'm not gonna do any digging. We'll send you out there by. Those, that's for Go dwarves. Go talk to the pilot about it. Okay. Oh, huh. before you start digging. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange stuff. I'll check it out. Go to the oasis. Mission time. Excellent. I think it's funny that they make Riku and Yuna's like special spheres not missable, but Pain's is totally missable. Well, you can lead a I got you, Logos. I'm gonna take those uniforms, or well, one of them. Say, those are nice. The other uniforms. one's gonna get away, apparently. Nonsense. Whatever you say. Welcome back from Ad. You, if you don't have an ad blocker, I appreciate you for tolerating that ad. <laughs> Having a little bit of ads play every so often is uh, how we make sure that when new people come to hang out with us when they first click on the stream. They do not have to get bombarded with sometimes like three minutes of ads. It's insane. I don't know why Twitch's ads are like that. Nobody wants an ad when they first click on the stream before they even know for sure if this is a stream they want to watch. <laughs> I wish Twitch by default would just play ads after someone's watched a stream for like 10 minutes or so. Because then you know, by then you know if you do want to sit through, ten, you know, a few minutes of ads to continue watching. All right, so that's the Beacon L1, and now we're gonna go to Gagazette. Kimari, be sorry. Don't be sorry, Kimari, it's no big deal. We're just here to get some uniforms. If you try to come up here without talking to Kamari, the scenes don't trigger and you can't get the uniform. You have to talk to him. Must be up ahead. Uh, you no wonder the ransom. Look! They're climbing, we can do it. made it up. Okay, this way. Imagine having to jump over like this where it's just like a cavernous nothing below you. That would be terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Play. You say so. You say so, Pain. Hmm. 
me. Oh yeah, we can't skip this. Can you believe there's a hot spring up here? Think it's okay? Did you work like this? Talk about it all. LeBlanc's not. It's hey, totally okay to ditch work sometimes. Just how old it <laughs> Everybody needs me. to give their brain I a break. Tell she's spicy okay, or just working seasoned. 40 hours a week uh -huh. straight Sounds is not nice. sustainable. I know. Let's grab their. I don't know. Isn't they're the ones like exactly. Hey, you again. That's why it's okay to get up from your desk just to go spring. get coffee or to go chit chat with your friends. They wouldn't. Those are part look of work out, too. What? Hey, Which includes hanging out at a hot spring. Bye, Ormy. I really like the colors on the Yuna Samurai outfit. It's like really beautiful, like blue purple. Hey, did you just hear me. someone say peak? <gasps> the so they got dressed fast. I guess they did that the whole time that I was fighting Ormy. Yeah, we did it. Gotcha. Alright, now we've got all the uniforms. We can go and beat Chapter 2. Can I not skip? Well Guess not. Let's settle the score. I want to check on um, Yuna's samurai abilities real quick. Let's get that one. How is she doing? I think I'm gonna let Yuna get a little farther in Samurai before I give the uh, AP egg over to Pain. Oh, you have to walk up to the door. There. I, I know the cutscene worked. takes place up there, but. Worry We're gonna walk up to the door. Okie dokie. Mission time. Oh yeah, I have to go talk to Ormi and Logos first in the living room. Having a conversation about writing in, disc in a Discord server, and every so often I get surprised by how bad I actually am at writing heroes, really? That's because uh, you've got Kingdom Hearts brain, it's, they're so all so complicated. Not really awful at it, but they definitely aren't my strong suit, kind of interesting. Point. I think it's, it's, um, it's hard, I think it's hard to write somebody like that that's, uh, that's really a fully good you, guy. Because um, you just don't find that very what? much in real life. You know, and also I think like anti-heroes are so popular that sometimes unwind. it's even hard to find those in fiction. And, and, and they be characters that are actually fully appealing. You know what I mean? At least I find that. Most characters that I really find appealing are 
somehow like not so good or they're very annoying or you know something like that so I think it's hard and then if it's not that appealing it's hard to write you know at least that's my take on it can I not skip I guess I can't skip this at all Kingdom Hearts has some um, defined hero type sword. Yeah. Kyrie Ventus, arguably Roxas. I mean, in a way, for Roxas, but I don't write them often. Yeah. I like redeemable villains more and in, in more ambiguous characters. I agree. They're just more interesting. Oh, Lucky. Lucky! Oh, not there. Okay. Ah, there again. That. Oh, there. Ow. So Blanc, you need to calm down for real. Uh. You're like so intense about this. Uh, there. Uh. That's not it. Uh, there. Not there. Did it right the first good. time. When did you get so good at this? Sora is definitely a fully good guy, the right? The boss fell asleep again. <sighs> One massage. I guess when I think about Kingdom Hearts, that's We've like the main, like super good guy that I can think of. We'll just have Aqua. To Aqua is definitely a hero type, and I do write her a lot, but I don't explore the hero sure side of her character a lot for some reason. Working. Well, maybe that's like a new writing uh, challenge for you, Koneko, since you're already writing Aqua. So maybe it's like put Aqua always. in some good, like, heroic situations and uh, and see how they come out. Ormi, you must just really love getting beat up by us because it just keeps happening over and over and over and you keep confronting us anyways. I like to explore Aqua's trauma, what can I say? Yeah, <laughs> traumatized characters are more interesting to write, true. I think, I think, uh, isn't that, that's like the common state of the role player. <laughs> Wanting to write trauma, you know, over and over. It stays interesting, you know, it stays interesting. Never get tired of it. Now we're gonna come in here and then we'll do the booby traps. Duck soup! Duck what? Duck soup! She told you. In all seriousness, I should probably practice riding Sora a lot more. He's the worst for me because he's like all my weaknesses in one. <laughs> Sunshine Boy hero type shown in protagonist vibes, yeah. Yeah. That's why when you say like um, hero types for Kingdom Hearts, like Sora is really the main one that comes hey, to mind. Everyone else has something else to them, it. you know. But he really doesn't. He really is like pure. He's like Disneyfied in a way that the other like Kingdom Hearts characters aren't so much. Total survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Can I not? I can't skip this. Zero, I can't skip Job it. Done. Oh, you pinhead. Did you even count? Counting's Look, for losers. There are bodies missing. There should be three more candidates and their recorder. I know who Third those are. Point. Three plus one.
makes how many? Four still live. Fix it. Figures. Did you say something? No, sir. I pay him no mind. It's a dud. Only naughty girl. It's a video sphere. It's what not a dud. You? It's just not interesting to you. And you are oh, saying that because you know Where what it's you talking from? about. And even that's more and more of a question mark with recent developments. Really? Kingdom Hearts 3 started poking at source issues. Well, that's true. I guess it kind of did. And it didn't really go anywhere, but it might start going places later. Kingdom Hearts is crazy. Feeling lucky, huh? yeah. Kingdom Hearts is another one of those franchises that I feel like has gotten just so much content. Like a ridiculous amount of content. Like how do you even go through all of it at this point? You need a guide. Kingdom Hearts Guide. The best way to consume Kingdom Hearts it would be uh, it would be to watch a lore video on YouTube. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is an anime, but game's true. Shout out to KH Guides True. Away. Yes, Confident I love coming. KH Guides. They're the best. I like to lurk their streams um, pretty frequently. Press it. There we go. Best way to experience Kingdom Hearts is to watch the Let's Plays on YouTube and then play the games yourself. Yeah. All right. One, two overrides. Time for the third one. I wonder how many goons get injured on this spiky wall. Uh, in the LeBlanc compound. How often does this happen? Do they do they have workman's comp? Do they have good health insurance in, at the LeBlanc? <gasps> if they're gonna have spiky walls, they probably need it. All right, let's go back. of trouble gathering so don't you yes boss time to clobber the robber boom that wasn't much fun No one's gonna hear you scream. Wait a second! Let us please the. Yeah, the sphere is ours to watch.
Oh, we can't skip it. We have to watch the broken sphere. Oh, there we go. That is the we fin. It's Vegnagon. I see Bavel hasn't lost. Exactly. Those Yevon scum have been. If anyone uses that thing. But it's a m All we have to do is shaky. Sh That's what Nucci's got in mind. What about sh me? The summoner who defeated. Hmm. So then I. I feel like K Kingdom Hearts isn't really that bad. It's just that a lot Don't of lore is presented silly, in an intentionally airship, confusing way. <laughs> Maybe I that's why I struggle with it so much, because they it's confusing on purpose. Even the time travel nonsense isn't all that bad once you start looking into it. The only lore I'm not touching with a 10-foot pole until it becomes City's relevant gone. is the Union Cross the Black back cover. Why do I keep reading that as the black? Back cover lore, and that's really because I don't think it adds much to the series as it currently stands. It'll be relevant for a new saga, though. I'll be looking forward to it soonish. So, um... Oh, let's save. Um... Mm, let's save. Do I want to keep a start of chapter two? This was end of chapter one. No, I'll have the end of each chapter. There we go. Um, when is when is the next like mainline Kingdom Hearts game coming out? Because I usually like those. Okay, time to end chapter two with going in, beating up Bavel. So how are we gonna do it? Um, it's obvious we nab the head honcho. Oh, I can't even skip text. Then we make him lead us to Vegnagun and checkmate. Not bad. I got no mm. problem with this. Our target is the new Yevon Praetor, Barrelai. A girly man like that doesn't stand a chance without his escort. Careful. He's much stronger than he looks. Payne says that, and I feel like that this is the moment that makes them Company. go like, oh. <laughs> Who goes there? And they 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 made the decision that as soon as they get attacked, they're it's gonna run away and leave it to us. We won't have you defile this. Well, good luck. Leaving me all alone. Next game in general will be the new mobile game, Missing Link, which is what people currently think will be an autumn release. After that, the next game will be Kingdom Hearts 4. No projected release date, but I expect more info after ML release. Okay, 4 was the one I was talking, that I was wondering about. I'll probably play that when it comes out. Uh, let's see, where is Yuna at on Samurai? And she's progressing along pretty well. Okay, she's thought that she's back up there. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't need to check Riku. She finished everything. All right, Alchemist. Okay, Pain's almost done with Alchemist, and then she can do uh, Psychic, and that'll be the last one she has to do. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hi there. We might finish all the garment grids. I mean, not the garment grids. We might finish um, all the the regular dress spheres in this run as well. It means I will have never played with the special dress spheres, but honestly, like, there's no reason to. I don't know. I don't feel like they do much. Like, there's just, there's no reason to use them. Maybe on, like, your first playthrough, the same way you would use Aeons in 10 is kind of like a um, way to beat it if you're underleveled. But otherwise, like, I just don't, they're just not that, they're not that special. Okay, and then inexplicably, nothing else attacks us, even though there's additional guards everywhere. I guess they saw how bad I beat up those guards, and they were like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> okay, I think it's right first, then left. 
Yeah. Let's go to the underground. Jeez, things were We're just going to zoom through this. Zoom through this to the end. Yeah. Reek of sea. They're chilling. It's their home. They only have so many places they can live anymore. So, you know. Don't make fun of them. Adam. This stupid temple intent, it should have just let me run through like this instead of doing its little puzzle with all the slidey slidey. You can clearly just walk on these. You don't need all that from 10. Thanks, Hypello, for following me just to sell me shit. That's very nice of you. Bahamut, where are you? Let's go. Heba, <laughs> Heba must have left. <laughs> oh, it made me laugh though. It was very unexpected. Yeah, he left. Um, he said, "Peace out, sauerkraut. I gotta go down. Um, bye." And he fucked right off. But it's okay. We're gonna go catch up to him. We can't let our little buddy, um, perish by himself. He's too cool for that. You know, he's our favoritist, um, little guide. Aeon. this tower. 
I couldn't remember if I started walking to go to the next one or if I have to beat this tower first. I have to beat this tower first. And last tower for the boss. What's up, dude? I fought you in Xanarkin before. You were way more powerful then. What happened to you? So she's on the 60 ones now. I was like, why didn't she l immediately learn something new? Because she's actually on the ones that, that take a minute. But she was speeding along there for a second. convince these kicky guys are broken and that they are supposed to launch you at the end of the battle when they do that final move sometimes oh this way Last chance to get more bloodlust and uh, and rings, but we're not gonna take it. We're not gonna take it. No, we're not gonna take it. We gotta let Bavel know who's boss.
time to go beat up Gipple. Mm. I thought I couldn't skip this. Maybe it's the part two of this scene I can't skip. Yeah, it must be after. After I beat him up. What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, Gipple? It's very confusing. Yeah, this is the one Sorry. I can't skip. I'm going ahead. <clears throat> you have your reason. Fill us in like much. Wait up! Like she goes on ahead, but then we follow her anyway. I don't. So many I don't get it. Woven together. What could be waiting? Where the threads? This is one of those scenes that's just weird to me in this game. Oh, excuse me. Okay, here we go. Time for sad, you guys. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to have some sad? I'm ready. I'm always ready for sad. We have to fight it. Fight! You have to! Look at, like, the really soft, like, quiet music. Sad music. Ugh. <laughs> I have a helmet. Sorry. Sorry. Is this happening? I wish you were here with me. I'm so sad. You're right, Pain. Thank you, Pain. You were right. We had to fight it, didn't we? Yep, we did. fled in terror. I don't think so. I must report. Boys, record. Yes, yes boy. Vecna gun. This isn't how it was supposed to be. It was the definitely really calm. here. I can feel it crumbling, falling away from beneath our feet. Yona! We are in Super Toto. Get back to Celsius on the devil. Oh, no. Chapter 2 complete. All right. Uh, we don't need any of this. This is all whatever. Yes, let's save. Okay. We are going to save here. And I'm going to take um, my stretch break. Okay. So. If you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're gonna do some more, so another episode will go up tomorrow. We'll see if we get finished. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.